wife. I mean, that's what those people are well, Should we tell them what we're talking about? Yeah, no, this is why we're building up to it. This is all gam. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about, well, Carmageddon. And if you are not familiar with Carmageddon, I'm here in Southern California. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah. like, people live, they, they live, give birth, and die on freeways. Mm -hmm. Only in Cal only in Los Angeles. I'm, I'm, I'm here when there were no freeways, folks. I, mean, I am here back in the days when the movie sets were, movie studios were out in the country. So I don't, I don't know who first called it Carmageddon, but what basically what's happening is they're closing a portion of the 405 freeway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's really they're, it's, they're calling it the Sepulveda Pass Improvement Project. And they're closing down a 10-mile stretch between the, the on the 405 between the 10 freeway and the 101. Yeah. And <laughs> they're going to, de they want to demolish the Mulholland Drive bridge. Why? So that they can spend money building a new bridge of which they don't have any money of. And so they can give you another carpool lane to get you to where you're going faster, of which will not be put in because they don't have any money. Now, I won't tell you how long they've been doing this construction because they've been working on it on both sides for too more, long. more months than I can recall. Yeah. Um, it's How should we say it? It's just become a way of life. Yeah. On that street as well as some other streets. Oh, you know what? It just re Okay, we're going to get to that street. Um, yeah. Anyway, so... <laughs> it, it's okay. It's called what you do when you don't have any money and you have union personnel that must be kept working if you create a disaster for the public. Well, this is this one's really, really bad because usually it's like, well, actually we've been living with it on Sepulveda, yeah. which happens to be one of the major um, surface streets. That a street that you have to use to get by where they're doing, oh, wait, that was really great planning. I mean, I don't want to inconvenience the public, so I will tear up the roads on both sides of the highway and make them into one lane. Yeah, because actually they've been tearing, the Sepulveda they've been working on for uh, more months than I can remember yeah. also. Um, and it's not just one side, it's both sides of the road, so there's only like one lane open instead of three lanes on each side. Yeah, but don't worry, <laughs> they are only selectively tearing up side streets so, so that you can go for, uh, the traffic will only be 20 miles back, duh. <laughs> they're saying that on the freeway. So part of it is what we're going to be talking about is what they're doing, which you may already have heard about, but we'll talk about what they're doing at Ways to Survive It. And these are ways to survive it from people that live in this all the time. Actually, we will tell you, if you live here and you work here and you drive the road, the, we're going to start out with the top way of surviving Armageddon is, Armageddon. That, Armageddon is that you do what you always do. You don't travel that road to begin with. Well, the, the number one way is to get out of town. Well, yeah, no, but, but the people that live here uh, try to avoid taking the 405 and, and the 1 and the 101. They try to avoid that stretch mm -hmm. of ground. I mean, you get off that freeway before you ever get to those things and you circle around, mm -hmm. which is why you'll see people backed up for five blocks trying to make the turns up. Actually, I'm sitting there thinking about it because we're talking about, because we're going to talk about all these different things that uh, we can break it up in, uh, to a couple of them. One is what's happening with Carmageddon. Yeah. Number two is ways to survive Carmageddon. Yeah. And number three is all the things that are going to be blamed on Carmageddon. Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay. I mean, her, her family did the smart thing. They went to China. So. so they are clearly out of the country. And other relatives decided to go to, uh, I don't know, they, they basically flew some fly-by-night airline and went north. Mm -hmm. you know, so they're out of town. They went out of town. And then there was all those people, I'm going to go south because there's no problems. I, I think Las Vegas is a good time to leave town. You know, what you do is you go around the 405 to get on to the, the, the 10 and the 15, you go, you can circle around and miss it all, folks. So here's the closures and what's happening. They said that it's for 53 hours, yeah. consecutive hours. However, we're going to say this is consecutive hours that it's closed Yeah. for the full closure. However, it starts on, let's see, hold on a minute. Oh, actually, we'll tell you that the closure, northbound I Interstate 405, 10 mile closure between Interstate 10 and the US 101. Yep. Southbound Interstate 405, four mile closure, okay, between the US 101 and Getty Center Drive ramps. Yeah, uh, but it's actually longer because you can't get on the road enough. So you got oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. So 
So northbound is closed for 10 miles, southbound is only closed for 4 miles. Yeah, but the, oh. you, you, the problem is there's no on ramps. The, oh, the, the, yeah. the on ramp is at the further one down, so you don't have to close it because nobody can get on it because the, their ramp is shut down. Yeah. So there's no way to get on it to that direction. So, okay. So here's part of it is on Friday, which is tomorrow, July 15th. Yeah. Okay, even though it doesn't officially start for 53 hours later, they begin the process of closing it down. So ramps along the 10 mile closure, which is the northbound 405 freeway, will be shut down as early as 7 p.m. And the closure of freeway lanes will begin at 10 p.m. to ensure full freeway closure by midnight. Um, I, in other words, yeah, we're, we're going to explain to people a little thing. People are on those roads until about two or three o'clock in the morning, getting well, back and forth. You know, forth. people are still. Uh, that's 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 our way to get downtown. There's the 405 you know, and all that stuff. Here's part of it: is people are still living in the city from work. Yeah, and they're okay, going to. So get off work early on Friday. Yeah, it, it, get off early on Friday and then don't go back. I mean, um, mm -hmm. they, okay. They're, okay, everybody admires the genius of all that's being put together. They're doing something that didn't need to be doing and doing it to people who don't want it done and can't pay for it. Hey, does that sound like government in action? Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so the closure will continue until 5 a.m. Monday morning. Unless they damage the road when they dump the bridge in the middle of it. Yeah, they don't talk about that. And then the ramps are supposed to... Uh, Connectors will be open, reopen by 6 a.m. Which, if you live in LA and if you're a commuter, you already know that. You're on the road at 6 a.m. before yeah. 6 a.m. A lot of people have to start to work because what happens is they come from other areas in, and they're coming from other areas in before you know they're on. You know, basically, there'll be people back. There'll be people waiting at 6 o'clock, and that line, as the people start funneling in, is going to cause a bottleneck. Like I said. This all is if it is in the best case scenario and they don't do any damage to the road when they dump the bridge. So they're trying to tell people to take, instead of, okay, we're going to go right here, instead of the 405, to basically go around the 101 and go around this way, okay, mm -hmm. to avoid that stretch. Yeah. Which means, guess what everybody's going to be doing? They're going to be doing the same thing. Now, well, don't worry, they're putting out notices unless you're a local resident. Do not come into this area. We, I got over where I am. She sees the signs being uh -huh. up. They're all over the thing. Local, you know, the road, you know, unless you're a local resident. I do love this. It's Sepulveda Boulevard is intended for local residents only. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a main thoroughfare, folks, because that you know how many businesses are on Sepulveda Boulevard that people come from out of the area to do business I on? know. I love this. It says, those using Sepulveda Boulevard should, extreme, uh, should experience extreme congestion and lengthy delays. Yeah. Now I will tell you, Sepulveda Boulevard <clears throat> it's is a main thoroughfare. Anyway, and people use it all the time, so it's almost always busy, and people oh, can yeah. use it. But that's without the free. But that's with the freeway open. We're, we're going to put it this way. We're, we're going to try it this way. Sepulveda Boulevard is to my right. Do you know what is to the left of Sepulveda Boulevard? Right. The motion picture and television industry is to the left on Sepulveda Boulevard, which means you can't, that the people that come and go to work in those motion picture studios or television stands, mm -hmm. they got to go to Sepulveda and they're not local residents. Mm -hmm. A lot of them live out of the town, out of these towns and come in, so, uh, and they're backed up on a, on a good day. And, they're, they're, they're doing work on Sepulveda Boulevard in selective areas, which basically funnels the people into one little line I know. on both sides of the road. It's with brilliance. Um, see, part of it is they do have detour maps. Yeah. <laughs> which everybody has. Everybody has, okay, everybody has GPS systems, and every GPS system is going to tell you turn right, uh, turn right, you know, expected time to stop light. Here's your child going to be born any time in the next three months. I know. And it's not going to, what's going to happen is that, uh, you know, it, it, like I said, you, you can, there are ways. I know how to get around all of this stuff. Because well, here's part of it is even if you're local, the ways that you think that you should normally get around is everybody else is going to be using those too. Because either A, they're part of the detour or people are part of the detour and then they cut around to those. I do have a friend that's actually supposed to be going to a wedding 
down um, in, I guess, the Long Beach or San Pedro area from Santa Monica. And so she's on the south end of that, but part of it is, yep, and she's towards the beach, but she's still going to have a lot more traffic than normal. But there are a lot of ways that you can get around. The, the ways that they're going to tell you are going to back you. Well, you don't, don't, here's part of it, don't go the way they tell don't you. Don't tell you. If you go the ways they tell you, you're going to have traffic. It's going to be, going to be so bad, awful. I mean, um, we do it all the time. We'll listen to the, to the GPS thing like we got. You know, this little Zoom thing does talk to us. But uh, we'll say, you know, uh, turn left here, turn right here, go back there, you know. And the problem is, and we're looking at this, you can't see the end of the traffic and it's sending you on those roads. Because if everybody else is going the same way. Yeah. Part of it is, yeah, we'll see how much people pay attention because when they had the Olympics here in Los Angeles, they were talking about, oh, how horrible the traffic was going to be. And all the companies, they changed their work schedule because they didn't want traffic to be bad. And part of it was that everybody went and did all that, and people would say, they said, the traffic was so delightful, I wish it was like that all the time because everybody stayed away and did ship, yeah. you know, change their ships. But, this, I don't think, is going to happen. No, no but here's, here they're being sarcastic. This is a sarcastic statement, folks. The good news, uh, the uh, reduced traffic congestion, the north-down section of the freeway between US 101 and Interstate will be closed for the demolition of the Mulholland Drive Bridge in order to reduce traffic congestion. Yeah, it's been causing... That's the good news. It's been causing increased traffic congestion for the last, what, a year? Well, they've been working on it, yeah. yeah. Well, when they hear trick, when they stop the work, it reduces the traffic congestion. No, they, they automatically consider a victory. And here's the bad news. The, uh, this is, the, uh, the traffic buildups, as expected, the northbound section of the freeway between US 101 and Interstate 10 will be closed 